We're at my um, old teacher's office from a while back, Mr Douglas Bond, who's kindly agreed to join us today in talking about uh, Eddie Mabo. Of course, Mr Mabo was the instigator for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander land rights, so hopefully this interview will give us more of an insight and an understanding of it. So, Thank you for joining us, Mr Bond. Thank you very much for coming along. Yeah, thank you. So, with that, what, was, what are your relations to Eddie Mabo? Uh, my relationship with Eddie Mabo is uh, his uh, grandfather and my grandfather, they were brothers. And our lengths, uh, you know, is very close uh, together. The thing about our, back in the Murray Islands, uh, our grandfather, they were what we call the Baisamli, the shark people, the ones that uh, uh, look after the uh, laws of Marlow. And throughout the law of Marlow, that uh, he sort of uh, took on this fight against uh, the uh, Queensland government and the Commonwealth government. Uh, Doug, how significant was the Mabo case? And at the time, did you know just how important it would be in the future? I didn't know how important it will be in the future, but what I knew is that we've got to retain our land, we've got to maintain our land, because that land belongs to us. It doesn't belong to anybody uh, outside from the Murray Island connection. Like I said uh, about the, uh, when the government said it was crown land, we say no, it's not crown land. We have continually been using that land ever since our forebearers, they've uh, passed on the, the will by hearsay to us and we know exactly where the boundaries are because of years of putting rocks together, planting coconut or mango tree at mm -hmm. the corners, and we actually know those uh, boundaries, and which the government didn't know. So this is how we identify our land. And like I said, I didn't know what will happen, but as far as I, I was concerned is that we got to win that land, and it got to be recognised by other people because of our laws. You get other people with other laws that come into into um, the country or if I go to somebody else's country and I've got to abide by their laws but it never happened to indigenous people of this country.